Clevipo Radiant Cushion Foundation Dewy. I feel that it's gonna be way too light for my skin tone. And now for highlighters, I do have two. Ah, I, ooh, this bright pink. Look at this beauty. Ah, yes, it is. The votes were so clear, so I want to say thank you so much to all of you who participated and voted on the poll that I posted on my IG stories as well as on my community tab here on my YouTube channel, where basically I share four ideas for four different videos that I had in mind, but I wasn't decided off, and I'm honest with you, and those who are my followers for a long, long time, you know that I do not only do YouTube, I have a regular job, I actually have a couple regular jobs aside that I'm a mom so it's a little bit hard for me to record videos edit um, do all the description boxes and whatnot so anyhow thank you so much for participating because without your support I mean you're my audience and I really love that connection so thank you thank you so much the four ideas that I had was a will I buy her video the second one was to talk about the best of Chanel 23s collection which is about to launch in boutiques this coming March 14 the third idea was to talk about Paris Fashion Week and then the fourth one, the one that we're doing today, which is trying the hottest, the newest luxury beauty releases and oh my, if I have a ton of products right here. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can tell, I have a clear canvas. If you're new here to my channel, welcome and welcome to all of you, my beautiful friends. I do film in natural light. I'm recording with my 4K camera. I have a big window right here. If you see kind of like a little bit of darkness on this side, it's because this side of my room gets really dark. So I'm just gonna prop the camera a little bit more in front, get you closer, and let's go ahead and get started first with foundation. And I'm gonna skip the primer because this is the first time that I'm gonna be trying the reformulation of Clevipo Radiant Cushion Foundation Dewy. I went ahead and purchased this foundation, oh, I don't remember from where, but I usually use during the fall winter months, B20 as a shade in Clay de Peau, but when it's summertime, I usually go with B30, but I don't know why I picked up O30. So, I mean, let's see how it goes. I'm just interested to see the finish because this is supposed to give you this gorgeous dewy finish I give you moisture for all day long, which is something very typical from Clay de Peau. This foundation is made in Japan. It has a shelf life of 24 months. I personally love cushion foundations, so I'm excited to give it a go. And here is the box. You can purchase, if you want the case, you purchase it with all in the case. I think it's a little bit over a hundred dollars, but if you want, you can also purchase just a refill. And then it costs, I think $75. This foundation was first released like about a year ago in Europe and the Asian market and it just arrived about a month ago here to the United States. I already put it all together but the refill came inside like I said I bought, bought it with all on the compact. Now if you have the old cushion foundation I think it's a round case that will not serve for this one. This one I mean if you want to have the case you will need to buy it with all in the case and the case is just gorgeous the navy blue so typical of clay depot it comes with the little protective pouch which i love mostly for traveling mostly these type of foundations too this has an opening where you just press right here go fast and then there you have it so basically i'm going to be posting on instagram the unboxing and that's what i'm doing right now too i'm posting unboxings on my instagram also some on my tiktok so if you are not following me there go ahead and follow me on those two other platforms but anyhow i will show you on that ig reel how to put the reveal which is super super easy but anyhow this is the shade 030 and it came with a protector so obviously I had it to unwrap it and then it comes with this very interesting kind of applicator which I really like this kind of shape as you can tell it has this little kind of um I don't know like a little bit of a divot right here which I think it will go really well if you are trying to put the foundation all the way near to your eye area or if you turn it also by your brows i mean yeah i think this is a very smart move so let's go ahead and get to apply it like i said no primer today and as per usual with clay depot this foundation has the 
proprietary ingredients from Clé de Peau, everything that is a skincare. So I think the shade is okay. It may be just a dash too dark for me right now at my Payless, but you know what? It's okay. And I will be doing to a full day wear test with this foundation. I don't know if I'm gonna be able or not to add some clips to show you the foundation on different lightings. I may do so, and if not, rest assured I will be leaving a pinned comment. So when you are leaving your comment, make sure you're checking on that pinned comment so I can let you know how the foundation works. Because the promise of this foundation is to be also long wearing. 16 hours <laughs> that's quite a bit it does have a very light fragrance uh, i feel like floral like perhaps a little bit of rose but it's not too intense i love fragrances so that's another passion of mine so fragrance doesn't really bother me and if you're new here to my channel i do have dry skin, mature skin, or experienced skin. I'm on my fourth floor, meaning that I'm over 40 years old. So I do have two fine lines and large pores on these areas. I do have dry, sensitive skin around the perimeters of my face. I do have a large pores on this area, and I have more of like normal to combination skin right over here where I have my large pores. I usually just like foundations that they are between a light to medium coverage because I do have also a lot of freckles and I don't like to cover them but rather to camouflage them and just make them kind of like see through and it happens to be that this foundation has a light to medium coverage buildable all the way to medium and I'm used to clearly both foundations I have an entire collection of them which will be something fun too I'm preparing a guide to chanel foundations and it will be i think something interesting to do perhaps the same thing for clay de peau i don't know if you will be interested in that okay the foundation finish i feel that it has a little bit of that dewy effect but not too too much i feel that it has more of like a natural finish at least as when it's drying and a very light light kind of you see that little luminosity when i turn around but it's not like super super dewy or super super glowy but actually looks healthy and the beautiful thing about cushion foundations too is that they mesh with the skin so well the path is something that you just have to have it they just get into the skin so well they mesh that it makes your skin look very perfected if anything this foundation kind of reminds me a little bit between coverage not the shade though but um yeah the coverage reminds me a little bit to my sisley cushion foundation which is beautiful and perhaps even a little bit to the shante guy kind of like an in-between I think perhaps this may maybe just a little bit more, not dewy, but a little bit more radiant. And then Shantekai is kind of in that middle row. So I think something in between in terms of finish. Now this foundation has a good amount of shades. Usually cushion foundations, unfortunately, the market is set for mostly Asian countries, yes, it arrives to Europe, yes, they arrive here to the United States too, and the Americas, but cushion foundations, I think they are more understood in Asian markets, and I'm not saying that in Asia, obviously, they are all sorts of skin tones, but I'm honestly specifically talking about Japan, for example, where the shades are more in the lighter spectrum and although this foundation goes all the way to i think medium to tan nothing really deep 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 i feel that it's a little bit more inclusive than other cushion foundations per se but anyhow friends this is how it's looking like like i said a little bit deeper in tone not orangey but yeah i just i'm not there yet with the shade okay i went ahead and did my brows off camera i used the 
brow pencil by Charlotte Tilbury. By the way, I do have, this video is not a sponsor by nobody, but I just want to mention that I do have a discount code with Charlotte Tilbury. It will be on my description box below with all the details. But now going into concealers. So there are two luxury brands that just launched new concealers. One of them is Givenchy and the other one is Valentino. I went ahead and picked up the one from Valentino. This is the very Valentino concealer, all day light lasting covering concealer okay <laughs> and it comes i think 20 different shades it's supposed to have a radiant finish medium coverage usually i need a full coverage because of my very dark under eye circles as you can tell but you know let's go ahead and try it let's have fun i got it in the shade light umbra 2 which when i took it out i feel that it's gonna be way too light for my skin tone <laughs> look at this i mean with the contrast oh my gosh and honestly, I don't really love a super brightening effect under my eyes because sometimes, depending on the concealer, it can give me this um, gray cast because of my blue, green, dark under eye circles. But, mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and open this baby up. Let's see, where is it made? Let's just take a look. Okay, it has a shelf life of six months and is made in France. Okay, all right, and it's supposed to be 24 hour long wearing. I mean, 24 hour that's quite a bit. And I actually like the packaging, although um, I think the material is a lot better than the lipsticks. And by the way, I bought this concealer, but I also got this little pouch, it was kind of like a gift with purchase, which I that's very nice. Okay, it has a dog applicator that looks kind of like a call it the ballerina sleeper <laughs> because it's kind of like pointy oh goodness me the shade i don't know if this is gonna be the right shade oh my gosh it's wide oh no it's way too light what should we do well you know what let's just let's just apply it i'm gonna apply it on one side and um And let's see after I apply it how it looks like and, and, and then we take it from there. Sonia G Jumbo Concealer Brush. Um, oh, let's go for it. This looks white on my skin. Oh no. Okay, obviously you can still kind of see through my dark under eye circle. Here he got like a light coverage. Let's see if we can build it up. I'm just gonna build it up a little so you can really see how much he covers. Hey, it really doesn't bother me too much. I thought it was gonna be just way, way too light. It is light for me, but oh well. I'm just gonna apply it a little bit more because I really need to build it up a little. Okay. It doesn't look bad. It is the shade that is throwing me off, but it does have a medium coverage. I mean, to me, a full coverage has to be something that will cover these dark and eye circles. You know that I have been using quite a bit my Tom for concealer stick, and that one has more coverage than this. And obviously, my OG, the Sublimage. Le Corrector U by Chanel has way more coverage than this concealer with a tiny amount, tiny, tiny amount. I'm just gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury color corrector. This has lasting forever. I think I really need to just buy a new one because it's really not good anymore. Now I'm gonna go with the Valentino concealer. I usually apply two dots, but this one I feel I need just a little bit, not a triangle, but a little swipe right there. Definitely if I was to let it set a little, it will give me perhaps a little bit more coverage, but 
I, I don't have too much hope because of the shade that <laughs> is so bright. Oh gosh. This is such a bright shade. And I don't know, but I feel that it's emphasizing just a little bit. I have some texture right here. I have a little bit of dryness. I'll see right now because it's has been very the weather here rainy and there's a lot of pollen in my area and I start having allergies and every time that I get allergies I get like this dryness under my eye so oh well at least I can tell you that you can build it up I'm not gonna set it just gonna let it be while we apply the rest of the makeup I'm just applying a little bit more because honestly I feel like it's looking a little bit too light um, yeah. Another thing too is it has a very light like consistency. Super light consistency. My gosh, look at that. <laughs> okay, I may need to powder it, but I just want to see as we move with the rest of the makeup if it starts creasing or not or if it kind of stays in place so we will check on that in a second all right now let's go for bronzer and i'm so excited because i went ahead and picked up two other shades of the hermes bronzers which are incredible i'm so so in love with them so i did already a full-on review about this bronzer but at that time the only shade that i was able to get it was the shade number two which it is light it works for me but it's a little bit light and then if you follow me on my IG, you have seen the swatches already. But I also picked up the shade Sahara number no. three, which is a more like a dual ray tone. Someone asked me if these are close to the house labs. I think these are super silky. The house labs, they have kind of this cushiony sensation in terms of like they feel a little bit more not they are not cream but somewhat creamy these are super the ones from Hermes they are super silky so I have two three yeah two three and four cyan four is more reddish in tone three is a little bit more doré and then I feel like the number two atlas is a little bit orangey if you compare it to the three and the four shade so I think I want to go with the shade number but we can do one side three and the other side four why not so let's go for the shade three and the next side oh that's so beautiful it's so airbrush if you like the sisley the tone fork bronzers you're gonna love this bronzer mm, the shade is just stunning so beautiful and then on this side i'm gonna go with the shade number four just a little bit more in the reddish tone which it's something that I also love. I think both of them are beautiful. This shade, I think it's going to suit me a lot better during the summertime with a lot more of a bronze. And this is the beautiful thing about these Hermes bronzers. The way that you're able to build them up, that they look super natural, super smooth airbrush, just beautiful. They don't lift up any foundation either. If you notice, if you notice that, it doesn't lift up my foundation. And the foundation, uh, it's not set. I can still see a little bit of a trace, but it's not about it much. I mean, on me, on daily basis, I really do not like to set, but. In terms of the concealer, I can see it has to start to gather on my fine lines. Not a lot, it's not aging me, 
but I'm gonna observe it as we apply the rest of the makeup. Okay, and then my husband, he was so sweet. He went to Sephora for me. <laughs> I told him, hey, can you pass by Sephora? I need to pick me up something. I honestly was looking forward to see the release of the new Giorgio Armani lashes. They look oh, really beautiful, but they haven't released them yet. Perhaps when I'm uploading this video, they will be up and just make sure you're following me here on my youtube channel and also my instagram and tiktok because i let you know whenever there's some new makeup release but anyhow i picked up two of the new house labs by lady gaga blushes and i'm excited because i hope i don't know if they have the same formula as their bronzers or oh, i'm just so excited you know what i just changed my mind i'm gonna apply them but let's just first i don't I don't know what combination I'm gonna do on my eyes. Will that matter? If they have the same formulation as the bronzer, it's gonna be amazing. These are made where? In Italy, okay. I love Italian formulas. For the most part, they are really, really good. Let's see, the packaging looks kind of like really heavier. I like that. And it's silver really nice Ooh, this bright pink which is so much in fashion right now for everything that has to do with makeup it's called dragon fruit ah oh, that looks super nice and then the other shade that i got is pomelo peach oh i love this shade <gasps> this shade is so pretty not that the other one is not pretty but this is more mm, yeah mm, i believe i like a lot let's go first with pomelo peach and a sonia g soft cheek brush we have plenty of pigment i just barely tap it let me show you okay the formula yeah yeah it is the same formulation of the bronzer from house labs which is beautiful too okay. oh this is a gorgeous shade such a pretty shade. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, this is beautiful. There was another shade too that I'm curious, but I, I said, you know what, let's just do these two first, see the formulation, and then I may adventure to the other one. So let's go for this dragon fruit shade. And I'm taking a Hermes brush. And I'm just dabbing a tiny bit because they, yeah, they do have plenty of pigment. Ooh, oh, wow. Boom. Yeah, if you want. I like the formula. I really like the formula because you can build it up and it has this kind of like a blurring effect exactly as the bronzer. The bronzer also has this blurring effect. Oh, this is beautiful. It has kind of like a lilac undertone. You see that? It's very pretty. And now for highlighters, I do have two. Ah, I have the one from Hermes. This comes in two different shades, Rosa Takama and then Mojave. This one is Rosa Takama. I didn't pick up Mojave. I really wanted to see the formulation before adventuring to get it. But also I was able to get my hands on the new Terracotta Luminizer by Guram in the shade 00. Cool Ivory or Huele Rosé and it is stunning stunning the other shade I think is shade 01 there's only two shades it is more of like a dore tone now this is not yet available at retailers I have little fairies that really help me to get my hands on things that perhaps are just not yet available and then i'm able to bring you some reviews or these kind of triumphs but don't you worry again i will be leaving the links where to find these products and rest assured i will let you know when is launched in various retailers too so uh, let's go for this baby first i'm just dying to see and <laughs> Mm, I love that you have here kind of like a warmer champagne tone than a not cool but just a neutral champagne your typical champagne right here and then the borders are kind of like pinky I'm excited Let's try. super smooth 
Yes, yes, yes. Okay, and let me show you the one from Borlan. Terracotta. Uh huh. Okay, this is an actual luminizer. You can really tell. This one has perhaps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You see, it is not as impactful as the one from Hermes. Look at that. It doesn't disappear from my skin, but you can tell like how how it plays more into that luminizer effect. So I'm gonna go first with the one of Hermes and a Sonia G brush. Most of my brushes, I usually leave them on the description box too. I was thinking that it was gonna be more subdued being Hermes, but it's actually Early intense. Let's try the one from Guerlain on the other cheek. Let's apply Guerlain on the other cheek and I'm going to be using the Sonia G brush. This is way, way more softer, which it gives you room to build up intensity, but definitely, yes, more of like a luminizer. And although this is supposed to be cool tone, ivory rose it doesn't really have like a ivory tone it's more like champagne going back to the Hermes brush and using a Wayne Goss Esquel bristles brush and I'm applying it on the tip of my nose and on the bridge of my nose yeah I think you're better off to if you have a, a squirrel hair bristle brush to use such for this type of highlighter in my opinion or just go light-handed that is my suggestion now let's go for the eyes and you may have already seen my review and comparisons between these two new eyeshadow stick formulations from Hourglass and Victoria Beckham Beauty so I actually bought all the Hourglass ones and then Victoria Beckham Beauty sent me um, on PR <laughs> the rest which I'm just so grateful for so if you want to see comparison swatches comparisons with other formulas from Hourglass from Victoria Beckham Beauty from I think I did also Laura Mercier and so forth I will highly suggest you to look to that video because it's very dedicated detail in regards to formula and whatnot but I want to just create an eyeshadow look and actually I created their two eyeshadow looks using both of the formulations so the good thing about the ones from Victoria Beckham Beauty is one they are super long lasting like crazy crazy long lasting and they do come also in matte finish aside to the very beautiful metallic finish sorry i'm just looking to the names because there are so many i think i'm going to start first with the shade trench what i was going to say is the ones from hourglass they only come in metallic finish as of right now i mean that doesn't mean that we will not see it on metallic finish as time progress but yeah right now it's only metallic finish so i'm gonna go with the shade trench from victoria beckham beauty now the packaging is really nice i wish though that it was a little bit more fancy per se you know that yeah <laughs> the regular packaging but i understand it's just you know it's just an eyeshadow stick and interesting enough they both hourglass and victoria beckham beauty they cost the same $34. Although they are made in different countries though. So they come is Italy. Hourglass is made in to me in oh here in the United States. I'm sorry, it just blank out for us. <laughs> so I'm applying this eyeshadow all over the eyelid. Now with the Victoria Beckham Beauty one, you better act fast and blend because otherwise it sets right away. And I think with the other eyeshadows, I need to work one eye at a time. I'm going in with the shade Pecan. And I'm just going to take it on the outer V. And I'm just going to blend it first because I know these, they do set and then they don't move, they don't budge. I will suggest when removing it, I tried removing it when I was doing the video with my cellar wipes 
And yeah, my cellar water, like the one from Bioderma, will work, but the Lancome Biofacil makeup remover will work best. You see how easy they are to blend? And one thing though, these eyeshadows by Victoria Beckham Beauty, they do have a little bit of a drier formulation than the ones from Hourglass. The ones from Hour, and when I mean drier, I, I'm not saying that it's gonna make your eyelids look dry. It's just if we compare it with the ones from Hourglass, you can feel and tell that the ones from Hourglass have more emollients. I'm gonna go with the shade Oyster from Victoria Beckham Beauty. Is this the one that I'm gonna go for? It's a gorgeous shade too. Just taking it towards the front. I'm gonna go next with Hourglass and the shade Prism. See here the bird? So cute. It has been raining so much in my area. And I'm gonna find this shade right kind of like in the center. Another thing that I like about these eyeshadow sticks is that although they are from, I mean, I'm using two different formulas from two different brands, they are, you know, they are complementing each other really well. They are not messing around, which is something that I like because say, for example, if you're using, I don't know, a powder formulation X from a little palette and then you want to go on top with these ones from Hourglass or that shiny ones from um, Victoria Beckham Beauty, they are not going to lift up. Definitely that talks really well about these formulas. So now I'm going to go with this shade that I'm just in love, Galaxy from Hourglass. And I'm just gonna dab a little bit on this side. Oh, this shade is just so me. So me, it reminds me so much to Pangeline by Shantikai. It's just a perfect blend shade. If you have brown eyes, hazel eyes, green eyes, you're gonna love this shade. And even, I think, blue eyes, because it's, it's that shade that is just oh, very, very perfect. If I keep going, <laughs> I can. Should I? Let's go with Moon. <laughs> I'm, I don't need to add any more, but it's going to do a little double right in the middle. Okay, just that. Here on the lower corner. Yep. I like both of the shapes of the um, eyeshadow sticks. This one is a little bit slanted, so you can really even line if you need to. Although I'm not gonna line with these kind of shades, but also the ones from Victoria Beckham Beauty, they have this kind of like dome shape that are really great too if you wanna. Use just the tip, and they are retractable, so you can just go ahead and take as much as you need and then retract that. I'm just taking a little bit on my lower lash line. Ooh. Oh, look what I did. Okay, I need to act fast here. Let's see if I can correct that immediately. <laughs> Oh yeah. And then so yeah, that was easy. I think you have like perhaps ten seconds <laughs> to work with the ones from Victoria Beckham Beauty. But what a great formulation. Okay, I'm gonna use eyeliner, mascara, and then I'll be right back. And for lipstick, I'm gonna go with this one by Claire Depot from their new Chrome Rouge collection. And this one in particular has a shine finish, which is more of like a satin finish. If you haven't watched my review and swatches of all the 24 shades, matte, shine, and a sparkle finish. You better go ahead and watch it because, oh my goodness, I tried all of the shades. So I'm gonna go with this shade, it's 203. Again, all the details will be in the description box below. This is such a gorgeous shade, mostly for right now, 
that we're approaching. Spring. Hmm. Love these shades, so good. Friends, I'm set with lipsticks for life. <laughs> Not only I love lipsticks, but I mean, adding the 24 shades to my collection of the new Clé de Paul lipsticks is just like, oh, amazing. Total amazing. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so happy with the outcome of the makeup. But now let's go for the fragrance of the day. Carolina Herrera Good Girl Blush. I'm very honest with you. I'm not very fond to the good girl, the original one. One of my very first <laughs> fragrances was from Carolina Herrera, but yeah, I don't know. Good girl is not like, mm, not my favorite, but when I heard about this one and then I read the notes, I was like, oh yes. And then look at this beauty. Oh, isn't it this? Oh, so chic. Ah, I love the stiletto, but I also love the color, the blush color. Isn't it this all oh, so beautiful? It has top notes of bergamot that you know, my friends, I love. Also mandarin. I know it has vanilla, I think, at the base now with tonka bean. And then in the middle note is more florally. I know it has Ilan Ilan, also rose petals and peony. So let me just spray. Nice spray. Now, this is more my alley. Yes. It, yeah. This is more me. It's a little bit, it's not a fresh kind of scent. You know, it, it's not like Delina, but it is in that family. Kind of like a Delina, more like Delina La Rose, actually. That is a little bit more sparkling. Is soft on the florals not too much on your face and even the vanilla is not it's not a strong it's not a strong vanilla mmm now th this is good. this is really good mm. yeah this is really good this is up my alley and I'm happy that I cannot really smell too much of the rose. I can smell a little bit more of the Ilan Ilan. So it's a little bit more of a smoother transition between the bergamot and the mandarin. So it's not too citrusy. And then the notes are very well balanced. It's kind of like soft, very soft, not tropical, but it has a little bit of an exotic vibe. Yeah, kind of like the morning dew of a tropical place in a way because of that Ilan Ilan and then the mandarin. It's just kind of like that burst dewy scent. Oh, this is just fantastic. I'm so happy I got it. And now I have on my radar, there's a new fragrance by Killian that I have been mentioning since the beginning of the year. Is it Blue Moon or something blue? That it comes in kind of like the... Um, crystal bottle yeah that one I I have it yeah I, I really really want to get it then there is another one oh yeah Kayali they just launched I think it's a pistachio or I don't know if they have no not they have lunch here in the United States I think it's available right now in Canada but yeah a pistachio kind of scent that I'm intrigued about it but anyhow I'm so so happy I think this try on of new luxury beauty releases has been fairly successful if anything the concealer is not a concealer for me and it's not that it's a bad concealer it is a good concealer but if you don't have dark and dry circles like mine um this will work for you now obviously the shade is not exactly what i need but i can tell that it settles some fine lines so you definitely need to set it so that's one thing and it definitely has more of a light to medium coverage more than a medium coverage it does have a radiant finish which is so pretty because it just gives a beautiful luminosity under the eyes without being like greasy looking so definitely i think i want to exchange it for the right shade for me and then reassess so i don't want to say oh no this is definitely no 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 for me i think i need to give it a second try because again the shade that i got is not correct but definitely i will need to use a 
color corrector and red i'm pretty sure about it and as well as set it that's one thing the foundation is stunning stunning it looks so beautiful again i will be leaving a pin comment letting you know how it works throughout the day but oh my gosh this foundation it is just incredible like most of the foundations from clay Depot. the eyeshadows are beautiful i love how they layer so well the blushes are super pretty too and the bronzers as we see both of the highlighters are lovely i think hermes is just a little bit more beaming and a true highlighter while the one from Guerlain is more of a luminizer but you have to build it even more than most luminizers hopefully it makes sense love the lipsticks from clay de po and absolutely in love with this carolina herrera new fragrance it is beautiful i think it's a fragrance that i feel so comfortable i'm pretty sure wearing it every day obviously i will let you know about longevity and all of that this is kind of like first impressions but i can tell you if you like a little bit of the dna of delina la rose you most likely are gonna like this one right here and it doesn't really hold on the dna of carolina herrera good girl the original in a way i'm happy about it because for me that that particular fragrance i appreciate it but it's just too much for me for my personal use i appreciate it though i i see the value on it but it's just not for me <laughs> Okay, my friends, so I hope you enjoyed this video, that you like it. It was so much fun to come here. Thank you so much again for participating on the poll. The other videos, leave me on the comment section down below. If you still want to see, I can do, I think the one that came in second place was Chanel 23S collection, the best of the collection. So if you are wanting to go to the boutique, check what is new and what could be something that you may want to consider whether it's ready to wear jewelry fashion jewelry or bags i know we just went through a full-on video about the price increases from chanel but most of the price increases are on the classic flaps there's a few other bags chanel 19 the 22 too but there's a few of the bags that they haven't received that big impact of a price increase that you may want to consider that they are really really good options in terms of if you still want a chanel bag so i don't know if you're still interested in that i'm pretty sure that, that was the one that came in second place the third place came with the will i buy it and that can wait for another time because i just tried so many new makeup releases but anyhow my friends and if you have any ideas i know some of you give me great ideas i have noted them so thank you so much for all your participation and when you're leaving that comment i want to invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads it will be amazing if you can come and follow me on my instagram and tiktok yes please let's grow our family there i'm very close to get to 1000 followers at tiktok i know it's not a lot but hey is a good start and i'm so appreciative that you are there clinging and hanging on me and helping me out so thank you so much instagram we hit the 19k followers so that's amazing too so come and follow me on those platforms if you like this video if it served you in any way please give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and if you're not done watching my content i will be leaving a couple other videos right here that i'm sure you're gonna love until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye bye